H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So we will see that with the example. So let us go and check an example of it. So I already have the Eclipse open in front of me. So let me open Eclipse. Okay. Uh, I let me open Eclipse. Just hold on. So, uh, so I'm going to create a new project called as session 36. And in this particular session, I'm going to use uh, the reflection API example. So in this particular project, inside the source folder, I'm going to create a package called as reflection package. And inside the reflection package, I'm going to create a class called as the reflect class. Call out the main method out there. So in this reflect class, I'm going to create certain, let's say, methods. This is a public static method, for example, with a void return type. I'll call this method at addition. And uh, I'm going to pass on two parameters out here, integer a, comma, integer b. And uh, let's see is equal to a plus b and then this in c has to be declared as an integer type and then i can sys out c similarly i am going to create a, a protected method non-static void return type method called a division with two parameters out here the parameters can be integer a comma integer b and i can have an integer c which is equal to a divided by b and the result should be thrown out in the CISO that is c out here similarly i can create a default non-static method called as uh, remainder and I'll pass on two parameters out here. The parameters will be integer a, comma integer b. And I'm going to basically say that integer c is equal to a percentage b. So this will give me the modulus, modulus result rather. Print out c. Now apart from these methods, we can also have certain constructors for example the constructor can be one of the constructors can be a public constructor of reflect class no argument constructor so this is for example do does a, a let's say a multiplication in which i declare integer a is equal to 20 and integer b is equal to 30 and integer c is equal to a into b this is out b this is one of the constructor having a public access specifier and then i can create another constructor of reflect 
and there I will pass on two variables or two parameters I would say rather integer b and this will do a subtraction will c is equal to a minus b says out c it is the same and similarly i can use certain variables out here certain variables like a uh, public variable of string type so the variable name is message okay and i can use a let's say a d protected variable for example of integer type let's say volume so these becomes the properties of the class these variables having the data type and the access modifiers or specifiers whatever you can say this becomes the constructor if of the class called reflect it's a public constructor and let me convert this to a private constructor and i have used addition function which two parameters integer a and b return type is void and it's a static uh, function with a public access specifier and then you have i can change this uh, division method having two parameters integer and b as an integer return type and i can return c okay it's a protected method only we have a default method remainder a void type with two parameters integer a and b and these are the that means these are nothing but the information about the class now let's say i want to get information about this particular class how do i do that i have to use the reflection api so how do you do so first of all we need to create the base class so base class can be created without the blaze card we cannot use the reflection api so i'll say i'll use the class called class this class is kept with the capital c this class is present inside the reflection api i represent it with c equal to what is the name of the class that we have created reflect equal to reflect dot class so this creates the base class now now let's say i want to get the name of the class file the name of the class file is reflect i want to get it in the console of eclipse so what should i do i have to use c dot get name and the return type of this is a string you can see that so return type is a string so i'll put it to a variable called a and i will use a sysout statement and call a out so if i run this particular class file i am getting the name of the class file the name of the class file is reflect and this reflect is part of your reflection api so i'm getting the name of the class file called reflect and this is what is the name that i have given out here now let's say i want to get information about the methods present in this particular class so let's say i want to get information to get information about methods present in this class how do i get this we have to use the reference variable c of the class called c of the class class rather c dot get method not method methods there are more than one methods so there is a function or a method called get methods and the return type of this is a method array you can see that and what are the method array contains it contains metadata information about the methods present in the class the return type of this is a if you hover your mouse is a method array and reference it by m 
and you have to import this method array from the reflect package that is what we are supposed to do so if we actually uh, now use the for loop okay because array will have indexes so we can use the for loop out here and the index thing will start with zero and obviously uh, the index integer a should be less than m dot length so array will have the length method this will give you the length of the method array and index number should be one number less than the length of the array and then i can increment the value of the now there's a duplicate local variable so i can call this as for example b so b should be less than and then b plus plus increment the index number and then i can use a sys out and I write down the variable m represented by the variable b which is nothing but the index number so if i run the class file after saving it i will get the methods present in this particular class so these are the methods present in this particular class so you have the main method the main method is public so the method information that will be shown by the method array will be only public methods and also the information about the methods present in this particular class will also show the information about the about of all the methods present in the super class class object remember one particular thing any class that we create will automatically inherit the super class called object so obviously the methods present in the super class will be inherited by this particular class and the class that we have created is reflect so the method array will not only show the methods present in the reflect class it will also show the methods inherited from the super class called object and by the way it will only show public methods that is methods with access modifier as public now if we go back to our to our class we have created only one method addition which is public other method we have created is protected the division method is protected and the remainder method is protected so if you look at the console result the addition method is shown it part of the reflect class belongs to reflection package it's a static method and it's public does it show the division method which is protected or the remainder method which is default so the methods shown by the method array will only show you the public methods present in the reflect package or reflect class sorry and all the public methods inherited from the super class called object so there are other methods which are present out here the main method is present so that is also being shown and there is a wait method being used and this is inherited from the super class called object and it has a throws or exception also the exception is also being shown by the method array so method array does not only give metadata information about the method name or the access specifiers present in the method or the return type of the method it also shows that part, that particular method throws any exception or not for example this method throws an exception called interrupted exception so obviously this is a method present in your super class called object and this in super class object is inherited by the reflect class this method is being shown it's a public final method similarly there are other methods which are present or inherited from the super class called object by the reflect method that are also been shown so this is how we can use the method array similarly like this we can also get information about the constructors present in this particular class so what we need to do is to get information about the constructor present in this class i'll just copy that and mind you one particular thing only public constructors will be shown 
and if it is in a if it is using some constructor of the super class called object that will be also shown if it is a public constructor in the super class called object because super class object will be inherited by the by this particular class which is called the called as the reflected class so how do i get information about the constructors so we have to use c is the reference variable of the class ca class dot get the constructors out here with s and return type is a constructor array the return type will be constructor array i'll call this by n and we need to actually constructors array and we need to import this change to constructor of the reflect package and then we can use the same for loop add this is a reference let's say by b only b dot n dot length n of b so this will give me the constructor present in the constructors array this will have a metadata information about the constructor present in this particular class plus constructor it may use from the super class called object so run this we'll get the constructors present is so it only is showing you a constructor called reflect it's a public constructor there's another constructor called as the private constructor of reflect with a parameter type integer b and integer a that is not being shown in the console why because it is private so it is only going to show you public constructor if i change it to public and save the class file and run it i will get both the constructors this is one constructor of the reflect class this is another constructor of the reflect class having the parameters are integer integer type so it will only going to show you public constructor so i'll change it back to private Similarly, if I want to get information about uh, the about the what else information do you want to get variables. then we have to use the reference variable c of the class called class dot get fields the get fields method will give you metadata information about the variables present in this particular class and the return type will be a field object the return type is a field object by itself so i'll copy this call this as f reference variable and import the fields array from the reflect package this is the one and then we can use the for loop out here the same for loop only thing we'll have to reference it with the f dot length and we save the class file and run it we'll get information about the public global variable you see there's a public global variable which is of string type and the name of that particular global variable is message if you see our class file this is the public global variable of string type message and that is what is shown by the fields array it does not show me the protected global variable it only shows public global variable if i change it back to public i'll get information about this variable called volume also save the class file and run it i'm now getting information about volume it's a public integer data type global variable so i'll make it back to protected so this is how you can use the reflection api and get information about the class and its property of the class 
Inflection API is typically used in your Selenium for the purpose of carrying out keyboard driven framework or keyword driven framework sorry and we'll see the usage of it when we create the keyword driven framework so that's about it and uh, thanks for everything if you have any questions please